Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm the Castle Girl. Today, I'm in Neat Path Castle. Neat Path Castle is a five story L Plan Tower House castle. It stands on top of a steep slope on a bend on the banks of the River Tweed, about a mile upstream from the town of Peebles in the Scottish borders, and was part of a chain of royal fortifications defending the border. The first castle on the site was built by Sir Gilbert Fraser around 1200. The Fraser served as sheriffs of Tweeddale. Sir Simon Fraser was the last Fraser to own Need Path. Sir Simon was a valiant knight and a friend of William Wallace, fighting alongside him during the Wars of Scottish Independence around the early 14th century. Sir Simon was known as the Patriot after defeating the English three times at Roslyn Glen in one day. Due to his disloyalty to Edward I of England and his loyalty to Robert the Bruce, Sir Simon was captured and hung, drawn and quartered in September 1306. His head was impaled on a stake above London Bridge next to his compatriot, Wallace. Sir Simon's daughter married Sir Gilbert de Hayes of Yester in 1312 and the ruins left of Need Path were then inherited by the Hay family. It was Sir William Hay who built the structure we can see today, around the late 14th century, using the foundations of the Fraser structure. The Hayes family built the castle well using a strange hard mortar rubble to make the thick exterior walls. It has heavy stone vaults over three floors In the basement is a deep well and prison pit. At this time, the castle was known as Jedderfield. The Hayes were royalists and the castle was visited by Mary Queen of Scots in 1563 and also her son James VI in 1587. Because of their loyalty to the Crown, the castle was besieged by Oliver Cromwell's army in 1650. Although the castle held out longer than all other fortresses in southern Scotland, it was when the southern wing was demolished by cannon fire that the young Lord Yester surrendered. It was John Hay, the Marquis of Tweeddale, who further remodelled the castle in the 1660s. This included fine wood panelling in the upper floors and courtyard ranges in the grounds. And in the gardens, there was planted an avenue of yew trees. One of the sides still remains. Due to bankruptcy, Hay sold the castle in 1686 to William Douglas, the Duke of Queensbury. His son, the Earl of March, lived here with his wife, Lady Jane Hay, who was the daughter of the bankrupt Lord John Hay. William Douglas, the fourth Duke of Queensbury and the third Earl of March, inherited Need Path in 1778. He had a reputation as a high stakes gambler and was popularly known as Old Q.
he let the castle to tenants, one being the historian and philosopher Adam Ferguson. Ferguson's guests included the historian and novelist Sir Walter Scott and the English romantic poet William Wordsworth. Although Douglas at this time was one of the wealthiest men in Britain, he cared nothing for the castle and neglected it and the estates and gardens. He had all the trees and gardens on the slope cut down. Wordsworth loathed him for such a destructive act and expressed this grief in a poem in 1803. Sir Walter Scott was inspired also by one of the daughters of Lady Jane Hay. He wrote the poem, The Maid of Need Path. It's about a young woman who pined so much for her forbidden love, the Laird of Tushilaw, that she wasted away for her lost lover so much that when he returned, he did not recognise her and she died of a broken heart. Legend has it that the castle is haunted by a lady in a brown dress with a white collar, Jean Douglas, the maid of Need Path. The castle was acquired by the Earl of Weems and March in 1810 and converted it into accommodation for estate workers. In the late 20th century, the 12th Earl developed the site as a tourist attraction. Need Path is still privately owned by the Weems family and today can be hired as an exciting family holiday home or a romantic retreat away or as a stunning wedding venue. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye!